Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, late last week, Microsoft made the latest Dev Channel Insider Preview build available as well, which is build 26120.2200, which rolled out with the update KB5044376. So, if you are interested in what Microsoft is testing in this relatively early preview build, then just a quick overview. Now, changes and improvements that are gradually being rolled out, and the first is regarding Windows Studio Effects. And as you may well know, Studio FX uh, delivers AI-based camera and audio enhancements on devices equipped with a neural processing unit, NPU. So basically, that's your Copilot Plus PCs. And as of this update, you can now access Studio FX in quick settings from the system tray of the taskbar. And an icon will now appear in the system tray when using any app with a Studio FX enabled camera, as we can see. And what Microsoft says, you click on this icon to launch the Studio FX page in quick settings. And over and above that, they say, um, hovering over the icon will display a tooltip indicating which application is utilizing the camera. So I think the minority of people will get this than the majority when it does make its way to stable because it is really um, for a, a, a PC with an NPU. So that would be your Copilot Plus PCs. And then the next improvement rolled out to the beta channel as well, which I posted on earlier today. But just a quick recap for the purpose of this video, because obviously we're dealing with a different flight here. And if we head over to our personalization page, dynamic lighting, just to mention this once again, when no compatible devices are attached, the dynamic lighting's uh, settings page will now show a placeholder message and both brightness and effects. Um, those controls will be disabled and then on the same page the settings page of dynamic lighting and um, Microsoft say they have added forward backward outward and inward direction options to the wave effect and they've also added the forward direction option to the gradient effect so that seems to be rolling out across the board so there's a good chance those changes will make their way into the stable version sooner than later now just to focus on some important fixes that are gradually being rolled out to the dev channel. They fixed an issue where if you clicked or tapped on a letter on start menus, all apps list, the apps, the all apps list may break. So <laughs> that's a, a little niggly issue. That's quite an important fix. And then they fixed an issue where explorer.exe was crashing for some insiders when hovering over certain apps in the taskbar and Explorer.exe, as you may well know, that's your shell of your OS, like your Start Menu, File Explorer, Taskbar, and so on. And here's an important one. They fixed an issue where there was a blank entry. Uh, if you head over to the Privacy and Security page, there was a blank entry in Privacy and Security, and clicking it would crash settings. So that's also an important fix that's rolled out. And then here's an interesting little um, UI adjustment. Microsoft say they've updated the mouse option, which is, as you can see, that little circle, show location of pointer when I press the control key, so that the circle displayed, um, the circles displayed are now DPR aware and aren't really small on hard DPR monitors. And if you want to know how to enable the show location of pointer when I press the control key, um, I'll leave a video link down below in the end screen if that would be of any interest. And then we get some other fixes rolling out which are taking place mainly under the hood. Um, it, it's very similar to the Patch Tuesday fixes that have rolled out across the board. And then because we are relatively in early days here in the dev channel, we get a couple of known issues as well. So that's more or less what's new in build 26120.2200, which rolled out to the dev channel insiders late last week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.